I literally just woke up. You know one of those when you have your head tie on and then halfway through your sleep it falls off? This is it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ral, aka Love Glam. Please, if this is your first time on my channel, please do not forget to hit the subscribe button. Now that being said, I'm sure you're here because you really want to learn how to make your 4C Afro pop. Basically how to define your curls and today I'm going to show you guys how. Now that being said, I am a 4C hair. However, I do believe right now the front of my hair right here is probably like a 4B because it's going through things, but I am predominantly a 4C. So this is my hair seven days later after my big chop, after curl, defining it and whatnot. Right now it's flat at the back because I sleep on my back, so don't mind it. Also, something else that I noticed is that it is now flaking. I don't know if you guys can see that. Seven days later for flake is not bad at all because in the past I've used products that started flaking like two days into it or even three days into it like Eco Styler Gel, TGI and Curl and Custard kind of started flaking on me like four days in. So this is pretty good. So let me show you guys what the back looks like, but this is the front. I don't know if you guys can kind of see it, but the curls are still there. This is the back. It's flat and everything because I just woke up. I'm about to go wash my hair anyway. Over here, around here, it's kind of like more kinkier, no more curls. I can kind of feel some curls on these ends. And then right here, I can kind of feel like half curl, half back. So I'm going to go shower, wash my hair, and then we're going to reactivate it for the next seven days. Let me tell you guys the four reasons why your 4C curls are not popping. Number one, how you dry your hair. And basically what I mean by how you dry your hair is, are you drying your hair with a towel? Towels tend to have what you call nubs, so basically the wrinkly freezy looking things on a towel what that does it does upset your cuticles your hair cuticles so it ends up raising the hair cuticles and as a result your hair is already frizzy and matted and also drying your hair with a towel sucks out the moisture from your hair it over dries your hair absorbs all the water from your hair your hair is already freezy it's matted it's dehydrated so when you're trying to make your curls pop it is not working so instead what I do suggest that you do which I'm sure you guys probably already know this just dry your hair with a cotton machine Material, aka a t-shirt make sure you dry your hair with a t-shirt and if you got the moolah you got the time make sure you dry your hair with some uh, microfiber um, cloth and um, that's the best to dry your hair and that way it's going to leave your hair cuticles looking smooth rather than freezy and matted and dehydrated and now we're going to put some products in it and begin to define our curls. The first things first, because of course I dried it with a t-shirt, I'm gonna go ahead and spritz it just to get it back wet up again because it dried a little bit too much. And just very slightly. So this is the Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioner. Little bit, last time I used quite a bit and it did leave the white residue like this in my hair. And my hair does not absorb products that are in custard form as much it's almost like it just stays on top of my hair for a while so this time around we're using it but just a very little amount and as you can see it is absorbing it a lot better this time around I'm gonna go ahead and spray it with more water just to help everything absorb properly so for the definition, I'm using the Curl Boss, and this is by Anjaki as well. And it's the Coconut Creme Recipe Coconut Curl and Jelly. So this is the new thing, or the only new thing that I've incorporated into my hair. And that's the reason why my hair lasted for like seven days, in my opinion at least. So you guys try it out. Let me know down below if your uh, curls actually last that long. And I'm going to part it where I like. I just found that parting it does help shape my face. A lot better than just leaving it as is. I'm going to be defining these curls downwards like so and then I'm going to be defining these ones this way. So we're gonna start on this side. So I'm taking a little bit of the jelly and I'm just gonna run it through my hair and then this is where it comes and this is where your patience comes in. It's gonna take it like so and begin to define it. 
So reason number two why your 4C curls are not popping is basically you're not using enough water when you're trying to define these curls. So let me tell you one thing real quick. When you're trying to define your curls, especially as a 4C girl, you need your hair to be soaking wet in order for the definition to appear. If your hair is semi-wet, if your hair is completely dry, because a lot of people tend to add a defining product on dry hair, it's not going to work. You're literally going to end up with an afro freezy hair with no curls at all. So make sure your hair is soaking wet. So when you're adding water to a particular section, over time the rest of the sections will dry out. So you need to keep adding water while you're trying to define the curls so that your 4C curls could be popping. So reason number three, this one is a big one. And that's because you are not patient. And what I mean by that is, guys, it took me 50 minutes, 50 to 55 minutes, give or take, to activate or to define my curls. As you guys can see in the video, I tried to include every step of the way. I even included how I was resting, when I was resting, because a lot of us, we want unpopping curls, especially as 4C girls, because we already don't have any curls to begin with when we're done washing our hair. So now, what we end up doing is we're magically thinking that our curls are going to happen overnight but no that's not going to work you literally have to be patient with it your hands are going to hurt this is real life what whatever that is worth having does not come easy so you got to take your time and do it I was talking to my cousin and basically um, she was asking me how I was able to define my curls to look on and popping and I told her she said my hair is not gonna do that plus anybody got time for that um, my friend said the same thing they're like oh my gosh well I love your curls how did you define them so well I told them how long it took me and they're like, mm, and nobody got time for that. So if you do not have patience, you will not have unpopping curls as a 4C girl. It's as simple as that. We cannot up and do wash and goes, unfortunately. So you got to put in the work. And the reason why this is not really bother me is because this lasts for seven days so I don't really mind because um, I only have to do it once a week and I'm Gucci for the rest of the week okay so we are more than halfway through the curling um, right now as you guys can see I've curled here um, let's see here and like I said you don't have to be perfect at these things you just have to have patience because I curl the back of my hair without a mirror. I'm not necessarily seeing the back to see how um, well it's curling, but to me that doesn't really matter. I feel like the precision happens in front, so that's where I'm concerned about. The back, so far it's not like afro-y, so far it's a little bit more curly, you're pretty much good to go. Right now we are almost done. So far it's been 20 minutes. It takes time guys, okay? It takes time. All right, so number four reason why your 4C curls are not popping is because you're not using the right curl definer. So basically, um, when products are in a custard form, like um, kind of like the leave-in conditioner that I use in the video, you will notice that it does not absorb quickly into my hair. So as a result, you gotta be able to pick curl definers that do actually absorb into your hair. And luckily enough, I was able to come across the Anjaki curl definer and I am obsessed because it's literally a coconut jelly. It's gel, but not really gel because gel, I also feel does not really absorb to my, into my hair properly. So if you're anything like me, you find the products do not actually sink into your hair cuticles uh, right away, try this product. You guys are going to absolutely, absolutely love it and we're almost done this is all I have to curl like I said the wetness of the hair really makes a difference and it really does make it easier even um, right now for styling it as well as for maintaining it throughout the week because when you wake up all you have to do is just spray a little bit of water and it's almost kind of like it reactivates the gel um, in the hair and then your hair is back up to popping in my opinion I've noticed also, it helps keep your hair hydrated and moisturized uh, throughout the week, I've found. So let's carry on. And lastly, honestly, this is not even part of the four reasons, but this is just something I had to throw in there because right now it's midnight and I've been doing this all day, so I literally wanted to throw it in there. And that is the hands and hair syndrome. And basically what that means is when we put in all this work to have our hair popping, instead of us now leaving it alone so that it can actually last you for a week, we end up putting our hands in it. Like right now I was laying on my bed because I had to... Um, refilm this part of the video because I did it outside and it was raining it was 
to overblown long story short this is a refillment of this section so from morning time till now I've literally been playing with my hair and as you guys can see um, I'm already losing the finishing in the front because I have the hands in hair syndrome so you guys remember the parting we're trying to retain that although we can always go back and fix it but you just want to make sure you retain it as much as possible so you don't end up breaking any curls trying to fix it afterwards if you mess it up I'm gonna curl this to fall right here and then curl this right here curl this right here and basically what I'm just trying to do is kind of like create a bump there I don't know how to explain it you guys are just gonna have to pretend to get it but I hope it makes sense so essentially the side of this part was falling here and now this is going to fall here and then this is going to fall here so if you guys want your hair to be on and popping your curls to be on and popping please do not play with your hair because you're going to be there like ooh ooh and then as you're on instagram on snapchat you're literally just touching if you're bored you're stretching out the curls and playing with it i do that all the time so if you do that girl i'm so sorry but <laughs> your curls are not going to be on and popping i'm sorry this is pretty much it all curled up, just kind of like looking all over the place. Now we're going to go ahead and kind of define it more, especially like the part that we had initially because it's just there. We're going to find where the part is, which is right here. And I'm going to take the same curling jelly and I'm just going to use that to drag. It's almost kind of like you're gelling your own hair down. I'm also going to spray it because that area is drying a little bit. The key to this hairstyle really is just wet hair. The more wet your hair is, the better. So I'm gonna use that right here, as well as right here. You just have to push down here as well. It's going to emphasize the part, so then the part could be more prominent. And this was what I was talking about initially about making sure your part is somewhat clear because if you separate it, you're separating the curls. So I'm going to have to recurl this and put it on the side. And that's pretty much how I style my hair. I'm going to let it dry. I'm going to do my makeup and I'll be right back. AKA you guys will probably see me tomorrow because it is like 5.30 now. <laughs> I'm just going to let it air dry. And then tomorrow morning, I'm going to do my makeup and I'll finish talking. And that's pretty much all the tips I have so that it will help you guys have your 4C hair popping in no time. So please comment below if you guys try out any of these tips and let me know how it worked for you. Have you been doing it before? Is this your first time doing it? And I hope this video was very helpful and I hope you guys were able to follow along with me trying to define my curls. It was a long process, not going to lie, but like I said, nothing worth having comes easy. Enjoy the rest of your evening and I will definitely see you guys in my next video. So now I'm just going to say bye. So, <laughs> bye!